welcome catch my point on physics today our topic is sound in physics sound is a vibration that propagates as an acoustic wave through a transmission medium such as a gas liquid or solid in human physiology and psychology sound is the reception of such waves and their perception by the brain only acoustic waves that have frequencies lying between about 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz elicit an auditory percept in humans here we have an experiment by using two tuning forks oscillating usually at the same frequency one of the fork is being hit with a rubberized mallet although only the first tuning fork has been hit the second fork is visibly excited due to the oscillation caused by the periodic change in the pressure and density of the air by hitting the other fork creating an acoustic resistance between the forks sound can propagate through a medium such as air water solids as longitudinal waves and also a transverse wave in solids the sound waves are generated by the sound source such as vibrating diaphragm of a stereo speaker sound source create vibrations in the surrounding medium as the source continues to vibrate the medium the vibrations propagate away from the source the speed of sound thus forming the sound wave at a fixed distance from the source the pressure velocity and the displacement of the medium vary in time at an instant in time the pressure velocity and displacement vary in space the vibration of particle in the gas or liquid transport the vibrations while the average position of the particle over time does not change during propagation waves can be reflected refracted or attenuated by the medium the mechanical vibrations that can be interpreted as sound can travel through all the forms of matter gases liquid solids and plasmas the matter that supports the sound called the medium sound cannot travel through a vacuum sound waves are often simplified to a description in terms of sinusoidal plane waves which are characteristics by these generic properties frequency or its inverse wavelength amplitude sound pressure or intensity speed of sound direction sound that is perceptible by humans has frequencies about 20 hertz to 20000 hertz in air at a standard pressure and temperature the corresponding wavelengths of sound waves ranges from 17 meter to 17 mm the speed of sound depends on the medium the wave passes through and is a fundamental property of the material the, the first significant effort towards the measurement of speed of sound was made by sir isaac newton he believed the speed of sound in a particular substance was equal to the square root of the pressure acting on it divided by its density the approximate value of sound in air is 345 meter per second the ear a magnificent organ the ear is an advanced and very sensitive organ of the human body the ear's function is to transmit and transduce sound to the brain through the parts of the ear that means the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear the outer ear the outer ear is the external part of the ear which collects sound waves and directs them into the ear the pinna what is the pinna The pinna is the only visible part of the ear with its special helical shape. It is the first part of the ear that reacts with sound. The function of the pinna is to act as a kind of funnel which assists in directing the sound further into the ear. Without this funnel, the sound waves would take a more direct route to the auditory canal, the ear canal, the auditory canal. Once the sound wave have passed the pinna they move 2 to 3 cm into the auditory canal 
before hitting the eardrum also known as the tympanic membrane the function of the ear canal is to transmit sound from the pinna to the eardrum what is the eardrum the eardrum is a membrane at the end of the auditory canal and marks the beginning of the middle ear the eardrum is extremely sensitive and pressure from sound waves makes the eardrum vibrate in order to protect the eardrum the auditory canal is slightly curved making it more difficult for insects for example to reach the eardrum at the same time ear wax in the auditory canal also helps to keep unwanted materials like dirt dust and insects out of the ear the middle ear it is the part of the ear between the eardrum and the oval window the middle ear transmits sound from the outer ear to the inner ear the middle ear consists three bones the hammer the anvil and the stirrup the oval window the round window and the extraction tube inner ear is the most innermost part of the ear which consists of cochlea the balance mechanism the vestibular and the auditory nerve cochlea in the cochlea sound waves are transformed into electrical impulses which are sent into the brain the brain then translates the impulse into sounds that we know and understood applications of sound wave sonar sonar stands for sound navigation ranging sonar is used in navigation forecasting weather and for tracking aircraft ships submarines and missiles sonar devices work by bouncing sound waves off to determine their location a sonar unit consists of an ultrasonic transmitter and a receiver on boats the receiver is mounted on the top of the ship to measure water depth for instance the transmitter sends out a short pulse sound wave and later the receiver picks up the reflected sound the water depth is determined from the time elapsed between the emission of the ultrasonic sound and the reception of its reflection off the sea floor a ship sends out ultrasonic waves in order to detect the schools of fish swimming beneath the waves reflect off the fish and return to the ship were the detected and depth of the fish is determined echolocation in 1944 donald r griffin coined the term echolocation echolocation is used of echoes of sound produced by certain animals to detect obstacles and food animals that live were lighting is unpredictable use echolocation Some of these animals are bats, porpoises, some kind of whales, several species of birds and some shrews. The first step in echolocation is emitting a sound. High frequency sound provider better resolution of target than lower frequency sounds. Not even animal uses ultrasonic sound in echolocation, but they are more effective. still sounds used in echolocation can be produced in the voice box the mouth or some other parts of the head then a highly refined auditory system detects the returning echoes in order for echolocation to work the outgoing pulses of sound need to register in the organism's brain so it can be compared to its echo using echolocation some animals can effectively catch prey and see in the dark echo in audio signal processing and acoustics echo is a reflection of sound that arrives at the listeners with a delay after the direct sound the delay is directly proportional to the distance of the reflecting surface from the source and the listener typical examples are the echo produced by the bottom of a well by a building or by the walls of an enclosed room and an empty room a true echo is single reflection of the sound source the word echo derives from the greek echo it from echos
sound echo in the folk story of greek is a mountain nif whose ability to speak was cursed only able to repeat the last word anyone spoke to her some animals use echo for location sensing and navigation such as dolphins and whales and bats acoustic phenomenon acoustic waves are reflected by walls or other hard surfaces such as mountains and privacy fences the reason of reflection may be explained as a discontinuity in the propagation medium this can be heard when the reflection returns with sufficient magnitude and delay to be perceived distinctly when sound or the echo itself is reflected multiple times from multiple surfaces the echo is characterized as a reverberation 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 in psychoacoustic and acoustic is a persistence of sound after the sound produced a reverberation or reverb is created when a sound or a signal is reflected causing numerous reflection to build up and then decay as the sound is absorbed by the surface of object in the space which would include furniture people and air this is most noticeable when the sound sources stops but the reflections continue their amplitude decreases until zero is reached reverberation is frequency dependent the length of the decay or reverberation time receives special consideration in the architectural design of spaces which need to have specific reverberation times to achieve optimum performance of their intended activity in comparison to a distinct echo this is detectable at a minimum of 50 to 100 meters after the previous sound reverberation is the occurrence of reflections that arrive in sequence of less than approximately 50 meters as time passes the amplitude of the reflection gradually reduces to non noticeable levels reverberation is not limited to indoor spaces as it exists in forest and other outdoor environments where reflections exist reverberation occurs naturally when a person sings talks or plays an instrument acoustically in a hall or performance space with sound reflective surfaces the sound of reverberation is often electronically added to the vocals of singers and to the musical instruments this is done in both live sound systems and sound recordings by using fx units fx units are the specialized in the generation of the reverberation effect are commonly called reverbs the human ear cannot distinguish echo from the original direct sound if the delay is less than 1 by 10th of a second the velocity of sound in dry air is approximately 343 meter per second at a temperature of 25 degrees celsius therefore the reflecting object must be more than 17.2 meter from the sound source for echo to be perceived by a person located at the source when a sound produces an echo in 2 seconds the reflecting object is 343 meter away in nature canyons walls or rocks cliff facing water are the most common natural settings for hearing echoes the strength of the echo frequency is measured in decibels sound pressure level relative to the directly transmitted wave echoes may be desirable or undesirable desirable in sonar undesirable in telephone systems radar radar is an object detection system which uses electromagnetic waves specifically radio waves to determine the range altitude direction or speed of both moving and fixed objects such as aircraft ships spacecraft guided missiles motor vehicles weather formations and terrain the radar dish or antenna transmits pulses of radio waves or microwaves which bounce 
of any objects in their path the objects return a tiny part of the waves energy to a dish or antenna which is usually located at the same site as the transmitter application of sound waves in technology parking sensor parking sensor system use ultrasonic proximity detectors embedded in the front and or rear bumpers to measure the distance to nearby objects at low level the sensors measure the time taken for each sound pulse to be reflected back to the receiver depending on the speed of the vehicle and the distance to the obstacle the system will warn the driver by visual and or audible means about the risk of collision the feedback to the driver will generally indicate the direction and proximity of the obstacle warnings are deactivated when the vehicle exceeds a certain speed and can be switched off for situation such as stop and go traffic radiology radiology is medical specialty that employs the use of imaging to both diagnose and treat disease visualized within the human body radiologists utilize an array of imaging technologies such as x-ray radiography ultrasound computer tomography that means ct scan nuclear medicine positron emission tomography pet and magnetic resonance imaging to diagnose or treat diseases interventional radiology is the performance of medical procedures with the guidance of imaging technologies the acquisition of medical imaging is usually carried out by the radiographer or radiologic technologist